क्लास नाइन सब्जेक्ट साइंस बायोलॉजी चैप्टर फाइव द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ टॉपिक्स टू बी लर्न इन दिस वीडियो स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ अ सेल प्लास्मा मेम्ब्रेन और सेल मेम्ब्रेन वॉट इज अ सेल मेड अप ऑफ वॉट इज द स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ अ सेल सेल इज द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ परफॉर्मिंग फंक्शंस थ्रू इट्स ऑर्गेनल्स इफ वी स्टडी अ सेल अंडर अ माइक्रोस्कोप वी वुड फाइंड थ्री फीचर्स इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सेल प्लास्मा मेम्ब्रेन न्यूक्लियस एंड साइटोप्लाज्म प्लास्मा मेम्ब्रेन दिस इज द आउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग ऑफ द सेल दैट सेपरेट्स द कॉन्टेंट्स ऑफ द सेल फ्रॉम इट्स एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट The plasma membrane allows or permits the entry and exit of some materials in and out of the cell. It also prevents movement of some other materials. The cell membrane therefore is called a selectively permeable membrane. Some substances like carbon dioxide or oxygen move across the cell membrane by a process called diffusion. Diffusion is the spontaneous movement of a substance from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Water also obeys the law of diffusion. The movement of water molecules through a selectively permeable membrane is called osmosis. The amount of substance dissolved in water affects the movement of water across plasma membrane. So, Osmosis is the net diffusion of water across selectively permeable membrane toward a higher solute concentration. When an animal or plant cell is put into a sugar or salt solution, one of the three things happen. Hypotonic solution. If the surrounding medium has a higher water concentration than the cell, outside solution is dilute, water enters the cell by osmosis. cause in the cell to swell such a solution is called hypotonic solution isotonic solution if the medium has exactly the same water concentration as the cell there will be no net movement of water across the cell membrane such a solution is known as an isotonic solution hypertonic solution If the medium has a lower concentration of water than the cell, meaning that it is a very concentrated solution, the cell will lose water by osmosis. Such a solution is known as a hypertonic solution. Unicellular freshwater organisms and most plant cells gain water through osmosis. Absorption of water by plant roots also occurs by osmosis. thus diffusion is important in exchange of gases and water in the life of a cell cells obtain nutrition from its environment different molecules move in and out of the cell through energy dependent transport structure of the plasma membrane can be observed only through an electron microscope plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins The flexibility of the cell membrane enables the cell to engulf in food and other material from surroundings. It is called endocytosis. For example, amoeba. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel.